What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Professor Layton vs. Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright. Okay, so last time, I believe what we said was... Wait, what did we say? She left her glasses behind, yes? I think that's what it was. In any case, we... Did we prove it? Uh, I'm so scatterbrained right now. Uh, how about we just go into it? But as far as I can recall, what happened last time was we said that Kira was at the scene, and then vanished, and then ran away. And dropped her glasses somewhere. Okay. Then, as you were attempting to make your escape, you noticed they were gone. Therefore, you made yourself reappear in order to search for your missing glasses. No! Objection! How absurd! Such baseless conjecture! What you propose is fundamentally flawed. What do you mean? Let us assume, hypothetically, that the witch did in fact drop his, this evidence. That does not explain what purpose it would serve for her to make herself reappear. It would still make more sense for her to escape under cover of darkness. Objection. Unfortunately, Inquisitor Barnum, such a plan was simply not possible. What? <laughs> Mr. Wright, do you understand what I'm suggesting? No. He means the reason Miss Kira made herself reappear at the crime scene. Okay, this is it. Defender, enlighten us. Why did the witness feel the need to make herself reappear? Wait a minute. Oh, right. She couldn't... Oh. Uh... It's this one. The answer is simple, Your Honor. She couldn't find her glasses. Could not find... Oh, because they're invisible! Right? Is that the case? If you've noticed, she's not... Uh, still not wearing her glasses right now. Objection! Hold a moment, Sir Blue Knight. What does that have to do with anything? That's right! It doesn't change a single thing! Objection! That's where you're wrong. In fact, it changes things quite a bit. Tonight, the two victims were engulfed by flames, courtesy of a magic spell. That very instant, four witnesses saw the flames erupt at the scene. It was, at that point, that something you didn't expect occurred. You suddenly lost your glasses. That's right, you were scared that if your glasses were discovered at the scene of the crime, you would be suspected of being a witch. Objection. What foolishness! Even if her glasses were found. She could simply have explained that she dropped them three of their days before the crime happened. Objection. I'm afraid that is not a possibility, Inquisitor. What did you say? What the f did you say to me? If you recall, it had been raining quite heavily at the crime scene beforehand. Had she stated that she dropped her glasses before the crime, then naturally, one would expect the glasses to be soaked in water and covered in mud. However, the rain had already stopped at the time the crime itself was committed. In other words, one look at the pair of clean, dry glasses would reveal she had dropped them later, thus implicating her as the witch. No! I should have known! I was perfecting my rainfall rending technique in the forest, and not once during the rainfall did I see that flower maiden traveling along the nearby path. Bop, 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 bop. That's not all. Bop, 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 bop. In order to frame Miss Cantabell as the witch, you needed to leave this witch's scepter behind at the scene of the crime. I see. That would be the most definitive evidence that she is the witch. The objective here was to have somebody else discover the staff at the scene. Alas, that person was I! However, no doubt you came to realize that one can deduce which spells were used simply by examining the magic gems on the scepter. In this case, one can see that the witch must have used Demir to vanish from sight and make her escape. That's why, Miss Kira, you were left with no option but to reappear at the crime scene. That was the only way for you to avoid suspicion if someone were to discover your glasses at the crime scene. By reappearing, 
you'd be able to explain that you simply dropped your glasses when you rushed to see what had happened. What do you have to say to that? <coughs> oh, you're gonna burn. You know, I've let you both ramble on and on, but playtime is over. So? So that's it, then? I'm a witch because I dropped my glasses? I must have said it how many times now? I lost my glasses days ago. Were you even listening? I'll say it again. What a pretty voice. Over a million times. I lost my glasses. I lost my glasses. Do you like evidence, Sir Defender? Do you love proof, Sir Top Hat? Then prove I dropped my glasses at the crime scene. Ha! You can't prove it. Ooh, I love In her voice. Other words, you lose. Mmm, I am so in love with you right now because of that voice. Oh, well, she's right. Let's go home. Let's go back to real world. That is correct. Proving such a thing would indeed be impossible. To prove that, the witness dropped her glasses at the crime scene. What say you, Inquisitor Bottom? Tis indeed a question of proof, my lord. These glasses have been missing from the very beginning. The Knights of the Inquisition found no trace of these glasses anywhere near the crime scene. Isn't it because she's wearing them? And they're invisible, so if we just said Amir with the staff, done. Boom. Bing, bang, boom. Done. It's a proven fact that she is wearing her glasses. This witness cannot in any way be accused of being a witch. God, Barnum, you're so useless. No help at all, the entire time. You heard the man. Bah! We were so close. That girl is a witch, kitty! What shall we do, Professor? Well, it would seem the young lady has finished what she had to say. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Wright? The music suggests something's good's happening, but I don't know what's going on. Unless they were thinking what I was thinking earlier. What's with that face? Do you find something funny here? It is as you said, Inquisitor Barnum. Explain. The defense raises just one further question. Why were you unable to find those glasses? What do you mean? They're invisible! You must have searched the area quite thoroughly looking for them. And yet, even now, the knights have been unable to locate those glasses. Did you ever wonder why? Yes, that has become quite the mystery. Surely they must be around somewhere. The glasses were lost to the wolves. That is the only explanation. There is still one remaining place that you have not searched tonight. What did you see? On her face! We're supposedly not found at the crime scene, leaving only one other possible place. Boom. Boom. What is this? You two. It's on her face. I tell you, it is on her face. Draw your blade and reveal to the court where the glasses are supposedly hiding. It looks like I've somehow managed to make it through my first witch trial. It all comes down to this, the final piece of evidence. Time to clear up this case once and for all. Beep, beep, bop, bop, beep, boop. I leave the rest in your capable hands, Mr. Wright. The piece of evidence pointing to the one place not searched tonight is... Oh, wait. The glasses! The, they're in... <gasps> oh... The milk? Wait, 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 wait. The milk! Right? Take that! Tonight. There was one thing that was carried away from the crime scene right under everyone's noses. That's what I said. I am speaking, of course, about this. Ah! That's the milk bucket that disappeared from the crime scene. Thus far, the defense's claim that the glasses were dropped at the crime scene has been regarded as mere speculation. However, if, Miss Kira, we find your glasses within the contents of this milk bucket, then you're going to burn! What manner of witchery? 
What are you talking about? You're crazy. Just crazy. No way could my glasses be inside that stupid bucket. That's just impossible. -a. How about we quit with the speculation and actually find out? What do you say, I.B.? The Bond Man? The Barnacle? That'll just waste the court's time. Don't listen to them. Tis mandated that the Knights of the Inquisition investigate any and all possibilities during the course of a trial. My lord, the Inquisition requests that this milk bucket be searched immediately. Okay. Is he just rummaging his hand in there? Just splish, slosh, splosh. Miss Kira, as you can see, your glasses have been found inside the milk bucket. The truth is out. Nothing you say can change that now. Which leads us to the next question. Specifically, a question of when. When did you drop your glasses into the milk bucket? What? Why is this happening? This whole thing is ridiculous. The answer is obvious, isn't it? I dropped them afterwards. After I ran over to see the fire. I took a tiny peek inside that milk bucket. That's when they fell in. Objection! Don't be stupid, child. Snowy and I were at the scene itself. Oh, uh, first, we made sure to take that milk bucket before anyone else could get their grubby little hands on it. We weren't going to let a single soul get anywhere near that sweet, creamy bucket of deliciousness. You can bet my farm on that. Hunga! Each of these four witnesses has stated they heard the spell Ignaz being cast at the time of the incident. According to the Grand Grimoire, Ignaz summons a circle of flame within a one meter radius, one metri radi radius of the caster. In other words, the real witch must have been at Miss Cantabella's side at the time of the incident. Indeed, that is when the glasses fell into the milk bucket. Therefore, there's only one logical conclusion. Only one person who could be the true witch. Constipation? Miss Kira. You are the real witch. Ah, uh, yes, and uh... Oh, she's in it. Oh, she's in it. What a very strange trial this has been. From the very beginning, we have all paid witness to a most unusual set of circumstances. A baker turned defender, a surprise extra witness, and now a not guilty verdict for the accused. Never have I seen such a spectacle. Miss Kira. Tell us why. Why were you trying to frame Miss Cantabella? I hope it's a long explanation so I can hear that smooth, sweet voice. You could easily have escaped the crime scene without a trace. There was no reason to frame anyone. Mm, or his. Either person. Either Leighton or Kira. They're both lovely voices. This crime was a result of nothing but your overwhelming ill intent. Mm. To frame a person as a witch is to condemn that person to death by fire. Mm, his is good too. They're all good. Why are they all so good? Surely you must know this. So why Espella Cantabella? Mm. Do you have any idea what it feels like to be a witch? Mm. What it feels like? I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for these powers, but I have them. And now here I am, begging for my life. I was living such a peaceful life until now. Selling flowers, getting scolded by my boss for not selling enough of them. That's why I was trying to put an end to these trials once and for all. Put an end to the trials? You all know what I mean! The one condition written in the story that will end these witch trials! When the great witch Bezella has been put to the flames and vanquished from this world, these trials will come to an end. This was my chance to finally end all this. At least that's what I thought. 
The sun had begun to set on that lonely forest path, and there wasn't a soul in sight. I always carried my hidden Talea Magica with me in case of a moment like this. I used my magic to expose that girl for what she really is. If I had been successful, then all these trials would finally end, and I could go on living my peaceful life. What? What? What are you saying? A am I hearing this correctly? Are you actually accusing Espella Cantabella? Why do you think no one has ever seen the legendary Great Witch? It's because she's been hidden in our midst the entire time. She's protected! She's hidden from us! It's all part of the story! A part of the story? Objection! That's enough! Speak no more. A witch's existence cannot be justified. No! Please! I know you've all noticed it too! You could end this! All of this! That girl! It's all because of that girl! I beg you! Please! She's... Please release me! Knights of the Court! Isn't it your duty to protect the people of this town? Give me another chance! That is where you're wrong. Huh? It is indeed a knight's duty to protect. We are impelled to protect the citizens of Labyrinthia against you and your ilk. The reason you were offered my protection until now was because your guilt was uncertain. There was the possibility that you were not a witch. The circumstances were such that it seemed another was guilty. That possibility has since disappeared and your innocence along with it. You now find yourself at the other end of my sword. Oh, everyone's voice Fire is witch, enemy of Labyrinthia. May the fires purge you from this land. Hold it! Please, wait! Stop! Please, just stop this! Yeah, her voice is okay. Everyone else's, though. Mm-mm. Uh, uh, Spella! If... If it means putting an end to these horrible trials... Let me take her place. Let me be Bazella. Send me to the flames. Please, if it would save her life. This trial has proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that this flower seller, Kira, is a witch. And according to the law, all those found to be witches will be executed. Did he say executed? He can't mean. This is most unsettling. Bailiff, ready the fire. Ah, oh, sweet. Uh, well, not this, the cutscene. No. Uh, uh, no. Don't do this. Huh? Listen to me. Don't let her fool you. Isabella is the great witch. Hear me. Uh, There's no time to waste. She's Brazella. Take her. And then these witch trolls will be no more. The witch trolls will end! That sucks. I thought they were gonna stop it. So far, we've always managed to pull off a win and get a not guilty verdict, but... Winning has never felt this depressing. Oh, Aspella, are you alright? Yes, I just... I just want to thank all of you. And with it being almost 20 minutes, I'm going to end this video here, so stay tuned for the next one! And thanks for watching. Bye-bye!